<laughs> Hello, AD. I'm RuPaul, and welcome to our crib. Now this is our disco room. We love music, we love to dance. And you know, when I was coming up, there was always a place where it, that said, cocktails, dancing, doesn't happen anymore. So we decided we needed a disco in our house. And this is it. There are 26 disco balls up there. And at the end down there is a uh, Hollywood Regency, Dorothy Draper inspired fireplace. That is one of my favorite things. And of course on the walls, we have many of my favorite disco artists. Some who are not so disco, but they're all beautiful and inspire us to dance and move around. This table here can be moved at any time, it's on wheels. So the idea is to have people over for a little nosh and then move the table out of the way <laughs> and then have a daytime disco right in this very room. I love, love, love this room. I, it may be my favorite, but don't hold me to that. Now this is our kitchen. Again, it's very bold. This is a stove that is made by a French company called La Cognou. And orange is my favorite color. You're gonna see a lot of orange in this house. I love these lighting fixtures right here because they remind me of those underwater scuba gear from the 19, I don't know, 30s and 40s, but they're just beautiful. I love, love, love the finish on these cabinets and the black and white. You'll see a lot of that in the house too. The floors are painted and stained in black and white and it just makes me happy. And if you can't be happy in your own home, how the hell are you gonna be happy anywhere else? <laughs> Luck on you! This breakfast nook is so fabulous. So much light, so much life and I tend to gravitate here, you know, because it's right next to the kitchen. I love this wallpaper. And these chairs, these are designed by another really important 30s female designer, Frances Elkins. This light fixture here actually belonged to Yves Saint Laurent in the 1970s. This is such a fabulous room. I mean, there's so many places to have a meal in this house, but the whole house is designed around community. We love game nights. We love playing dirty charades, just like regular charades. You just replace one of the words with a dirty word, like poop, right? Poops, I did it again. You get the picture. This is what we call our dining pavilion. Now, it was inspired by a Elizabeth Taylor film called Boom. A lot of people may not have seen that film, but she used a room similar to this as her card room. Boom was an adaptation of a Tennessee Williams play. I love the stripes. You know, we live in Hollywood. We live in show business, so we're not afraid of texture and color and bold statements. You know, this may not be for everybody, but it's perfect for us. In fact, okay, I'm gonna go on record. This may be my favorite room, but don't hold me to it because we're not finished with the tour. <laughs> Welcome to my office. It's like living in my own personal Hermes box. There's lots of orange. This is where all my Emmy awards are. And it reminds me of an office that Joan Collins would enjoy. <laughs> when I was 34, I realized that orange was my favorite color because of the way it makes me feel. So I implore all of you out there watching to find what your favorite color is based on how you feel and live in it. And that's what I do in this office. Love it. Now this is my walk-in men's closet. We took two bedrooms and turned it into my closet and I've got everything in here. It's, it's kind of like a historical artifact. Every shopping trip I've ever gone on, even little jaunts are, are documented right here in this very room. It's very emotional for me to be in here. Like, oh, I remember I wore that on the episode where, or, oh, right, I bought that, this little boutique in France. It is 
one of my favorite places because I love color and I love clothes. So having this two bedrooms turned into one closet is just perfection. So much storage space, so many textures and colors. It just makes me happy. And listen, if you're gonna be on this planet, why not be happy? Why not live in a place that makes you happy? And that's what this place does. Now this piece in particular is special because it's a sewing box and it was owned by the one and only Anne Margaret, which is pretty special. Now this centerpiece, this island is covered in black agatha, which is a Brazilian stone and it's huge. One piece of black agatha. She sounds familiar. <laughs> I think I know her. <laughs> now we wanted the back garden area to have space for people and parties and pool and possibly even do shows. You know, if we put a little slab up over the jacuzzi, we could have chairs out here and have a show up there or project a movie up there. It's all about being able to stay in one place and enjoy where we are. Also, if you see at the very top of this hill, there is a structure where you could do yoga or meditate or just welcome the sunshine with a cup of coffee. Really comfortable, not fussy, easy breezy, but it's also pretty decadent. It's very Pompeii. <laughs> now this here is the office workspace. This is the heartbeat of my operation. I love just the mix between wild energy and then the classics. I love that juxtaposition. What better place to be creative and be inspired than a room filled with leopard print. <laughs> this is our living room and we've given our decorator, Martin Lawrence Ballard, full reign. Now Martin was inspired by great lady designers of the 30s and 40s, like Dorothy Draper and Elsie DeWolf. Jewel tones, which I love, so much light, coming in here. And of course, you see all of the Hollywood Regency style that is so much fun. You know, there's so much of the modern stuff around LA. We wanted to go more of the classic and that's why this room is so lovely and so beautiful. This house is a working house. You know, I work here in Los Angeles. Los Angeles is a company town. So this house needed to work for me with clothes, entertaining, office space. George and I are very tall, so we needed some place that had tall ceilings, and this fits the bill. This is the epicenter right here. This is the mother lobe. This is the drag archives. Jewelry, shoes, gowns, you name it. It's all right here. In fact, some things, I'm looking at these cuff bracelets here that I've had since 19, 93 and obviously there are newer things that I just bought last week or that Zaldi who designs all my costumes put together just last week. It's pretty amazing. It's kind of like a museum, but even better, as I said earlier, this is a working house. So I was in drag last night shooting and you know, it makes it so easy to just come down here and find exactly what I'm looking for. It couldn't be easier. Now, of course, right next door is the glam room where I get to get in drag and mirrors there, makeup, everything is right there. Jewels in here, shoes, gowns. Look at these chandeliers. Look at these beautiful light fixtures. It makes you want to be as beautiful as they are. So, you know, you come down here and you want to make yourself beautiful. You want to try on everything. You actually want to lick everything, <laughs> but I don't advise that. <laughs> okay, so listen, we've been throughout the whole house. I'm gonna say it, this is my favorite room. You know, the, the kid in me has always loved color and shiny and, outrageous and texture. That's what makes drag so important. That's what makes drag so much fun to do. 
For anybody out there who's never done drag, I am telling you now, get yourself in a pair of pumps, wig, some very colorful eye makeup, and wait and see what emerges, because there's a superhero in you that is just dying to get out. It's like these jewels where you shine a light on it in a different way and it turns into something completely different. That's what we're doing here. And that's what this house is. This house is the manifestation of my drag ideal where it's color and expansive and fun, disco, all the things that make life worth living. You have to find the joy. You have to create the joy. Honestly, the hardest part is focusing on the joy in your life because we all know there are so many awful things that are around. Why not make your home a beautiful, joyous place to live in? Well, thanks for stopping by. You're welcome anytime. Psych. Thank mm -hmm. you.